no matter how good your algebra is you can't just solve this question you have to rethink you need to analyze this word before you can come out with the solution okay so in this video we are going to provide a solution to this problem all right okay so we are given 3 raised to x plus x equals to 30 all right okay so let's get started by sending the x to this side so we have 3 raised to x equals to 30 minus x okay now we can solve this question with the help of lambert w function now the lambert w function in case you have let's say box okay then e that's a natural log so raised to let's say box when you take lambert w function of this you get box okay so you want to send everything to one side and adjust it in such a way that we can find the lambert w function all right so let's divide both sides by 3 raised to x 3 raised to x so this side will go so you have level 1 here cos 30 minus x okay all right so let's write this one in a linear form so just as a on x is the same as a times x to the power negative one we can do same so times 3 raised to negative x okay now let's go back to the lambert w function again now we have something okay then times e to the power the same thing when we take the lambert w function we get that okay so we want to adjust the right hand side in such a way that okay we get e something times e raised to that thing okay all right that's what we are going to do okay now before we introduce the natural log function that is e then then let's make sure what we have here is the same as what we have at the power here so we have 30 minus x here and we have minus x so what will you do to this to make this side also 30 minus x so we have to multiply both sides by 3 to the power 30 so times 3 to the power 30 times 3 to the power 30 okay all right so let me write this one on my left so we have 30 minus x so when we add the powers you will get 3 raised to 30 minus x equals to 30 raised to 30 okay all right now let's go to the natural logs function okay so e okay raised to ln of x is x okay now we are doing this because before we can apply the lambert w function we need to introduce our e okay to this so let's understand this so e raised to ln of let's say 4 the same as 4 
okay so we want to introduce ye here which will be possible for us to or which will pave way for us to introduce the lambert w function now when we take ye reach ln of this okay we get the same thing so e raised to ln of 4 is 4 x is x okay so this side is the same as 30 minus x so let's take e ln of 3 raised to 30 minus x equals to 3 raised to 30 okay now i have done nothing to this because this one will cancel itself and therefore going back we'll still maintain our 3 raised to 30 minus x all right now in case you have let's say this element of 4 raised to x the same as x okay the same as so this one is a power rule so we have e x ln of 4 so this 30 minus x as a power here can be written as 30 minus x ln of 3 all right so let's go ahead and do that 30 minus x so we have e um, so let me write 30 minus x first 30 minus x ln of 3 equals to 3 raised to 30 okay so let's see if we can take the lambert w function now before you can take the lambert w function what we have in front of the e and the power must be equal but look at this we have 30 minus x here then ln of 3 but we don't have ln of 3 here so let's multiply both sides by ln of 3 to make the power and then what is here equal so we have 30 minus x ln of 3 e 30 minus x ln of 3 3 to the power 30 times times ln of 3 okay now with this we can take the lambert w function okay so let's take the lambert w function so we have 30 minus x ln of 3 then we have e ln of 3 because lambert w function t to the power 30 times ln of 3 all right so let's look at the left hand side so just as we said lambert w function of something times g raised to that thing okay it's that thing so in this case the lambert w function of this is 30 is 30 30 minus x ln of 3 okay equals to so we have this 3 to the power 30 times ln of 3 all right now let's look at the right hand side if we can adjust this and introduce the e so that something important will come out here all right so let's go ahead 30 minus x times ln of 3 
So we have Lambert that we find. So can we break this one as 3 to the power? 27 times 3 to the power 3 times ln of 3. And write it 12. Okay, yeah. So let's go ahead. 30 minus x times ln. Okay, so we have Lambert. So this side is the same as 3 to the power 27 times 27 ln of 3. Okay, now let's observe this. We have 27 ln of 3 here. So can we take e? Okay, or can we adjust this in such a way that we find the Lambert W function, the result value of that, yes. So 3 exponent 27. So we can say W. So we can say E Ln. So we have done nothing. So 3 27 times 27 Ln of 3. So this 27 is a power rule. Come here. So we have e 27 ln of 3 times 27 ln of 3. So we have that 30 minus s ln of 3. So let's move on. So let's arrange this one well. So it's the same as 27 ln of 3 e okay 27 ln of 3 so let's observe this so p e raised to p then you take lambert w so it's p so 27 ln of 3 27 ln of 3 so we have 30 minus x ln of 3, the same as, so 27 ln of 3. So with this, this one will go. So 30 minus x equals to 27. 30 minus 27 equals to x. So we have 3 equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and to share.